When it comes to amphibious troop transportation, the collaboration between the UK and Sweden to produce the Viking can't be overlooked. This vehicle, also known as the BVS-10, is a highly versatile, highly mobile transporter designed to navigate the world's most difficult terrain while protecting its cargo. Let's take a closer look at what makes this vehicle so mobile and ready for battle. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The BVS-10 Viking is a fully amphibious, all-terrain, tracked armored vehicle designed and manufactured by the British company BAE Systems, in a collaborative effort with the Swedish company Land Systems Hoglands. This vehicle is a further development of the smaller BV-206S, with improved load capacity based on the knowledge from more than 25 years of articulated vehicle design and production. Before they could be launched on the battlefield, the Vikings needed significant testing to prove it was ready for all climates. The first prototypes were delivered to the British Army in June of 2001. These vehicles successfully completed a series of trials over two years in Norway, the UK, Sweden, and Oman. In Norway, the vehicle passed its winter deployment inside the Arctic Circle. By contrast, they were then transported to Oman and took part in Exercise Safe Saria 2, where full operational testing was carried out in very hot and dry desert conditions. The Royal Marine Commandos, based in the UK, took delivery of the first batch of production Vikings in July of 2003. Following this, initial operating capability was achieved in 2005, and final deliveries were in early 2006. The vehicle entered service with the UK Army in April of 2006. Later that year, the 33 vehicles were first operationally deployed with the Royal Marine Commandos in southern Afghanistan. The Viking has two linked tracked units, which are articulated vertically and horizontally for steering and maneuvering over rough terrain. All of these tracks move continuously, giving maximum tractive effort in all conditions. These track systems are supplied by Susi International of Quebec, Canada. The chassis is of armored steel construction, while the rounded edges and smooth contours help with minimizing the radar cross-section. Viking's design allows for upgrades and for the installation of modular subsystems to suit specific operational requirements, such as add-on armor, a range of weapon mounts, load changers, and standard cargo platforms. The BVS-10 APC variant that was delivered to Austria features a 360-degree observation system with six infrared cameras and displays to provide greater situational awareness. The front vehicle is used as a driver unit with 2.5 square meters of internal space. Behind this is the rear of the vehicle with 10 square meters of cargo space that can be used to carry military personnel or equipment. This cabin can carry eight fully equipped Marines. Alternatively, it can hold a mortar section, a heavy machine gun section, or a fully equipped anti-tank detachment with Mylan anti-armor missiles and firing posts. Both of these cabins are fully air conditioned. The hull of the Viking is made up of steel armor plates, which give protection against 7.62 millimeter armor piercing rounds and 152mm artillery shell fragments from a range of more than 10 meters. The BVS-10 is rated to protect against half-kilo charged anti-personnel mines. The British version of the vehicle is also equipped with a mine protection kit and an armored cage. British crews are also usually armed with the SA-80 A2K carbine, a shortened version of the standard assault rifle designed for carrying within cramped compartments. A massive part of what makes the Viking so effective is its newly developed chassis, powertrain, and steering units that give it speed and comfort on the road and in terrain comparable with modern infantry fighting vehicles. The front part of the unit is equipped with a 5.9 liter inline six cylinder turbo diesel engine designed by Cummins that gives it 250 brake horsepower, more than twice the power of the BV206 that it's based on. The maximum torque is 840 newton meters at 1600 rpm. The Allison MD3560 six forward plus one reverse speed automatic transmission has differentials and final drives on both the rear and front cabins. The suspension of the Viking is made of six small road wheels on each side of the chassis with no track return rollers. 
Only one idler wheel is mounted at the front. The suspension is the same for the front and rear vehicles. Steering is done by hydraulic rams that articulate the front and rear cabs in response to the driver's commands. It doesn't require one track to be braked as in other tracked vehicles, which gives an advantage in increasing the vehicle's capabilities in all terrains like snow, sand, and soft ground. Despite a significant weight of 10 tons, the Viking maintains good mobility on soft terrain because the ground pressure is minimized by the even load distribution over the four tracks. The tracks are 620 mm wide molded rubber with cord. This means the maximum ground pressure is about the same as that of the BV206, a vehicle that's 8,800 pounds, or 4 tons, lighter. The vehicle also has the capability to retain mobility even if a track is damaged by a mine. Viking's speed on flat terrain is comparable to that of a modern infantry fighting vehicle. This is 31 miles per hour, or about 50 kilometers per hour, on level Class A roads, 22 miles per hour, and about 35 kilometers per hour on tracks, and 9 miles per hour, or 15 kilometers per hour, cross country. The range on metaled roads is 186 miles, or about 300 kilometers. Viking's ground clearance has been massively increased over that of its predecessor vehicles to improve cross-country capabilities. The Viking is also able to ford through water up to a depth of 5 feet, or 1.5 meters, without the need for any preparation. It is fully amphibious, meaning that it's able to swim in deeper water with less than 2 minutes prep, including closing holes and fitting a front vane to prevent a bow wave from washing over the front windows. The speed of the vehicle when submerged is 3 miles per hour, which is about 5 kilometers per hour. The Viking is able to be deployed from all Royal Marine landing craft and transported to the area of operations by C-130 Hercules and C-17 Globemaster planes. Also, if needed, the unladen Viking can be underslung and airlifted by an RAF Chinook helicopter. It also has the ability to be split into two sections in just 20 minutes to be carried by a Merlin helicopter. Although the vehicle hasn't been built for combat, it can defend itself if ambushed. The roof of the cabin for the front vehicle is fitted with a ring mount for a 12.7mm Browning heavy machine gun or a 7.62mm general purpose machine gun. If more protection is needed, it is also equipped with two groups of four smoke grenade dischargers fitted to the front of the vehicle on top of each front window. The driver or vehicle commander is able to activate these, which can fire smoke or white phosphorus grenades. The Viking has been subject to upgrades over the years. In 2009, the UK ordered 24 improved versions of the vehicle, known as the BVS-10 Viking Mark II, for around $36 million. This contract also included modifications such as fitting urgent operation equipment. The improvements included a larger and more powerful engine, more protection, a bigger alternator to generate more electrical power, plus upgraded brakes, suspension, and steering unit. Primarily, the vehicle is used by the Netherlands and British Armed Forces, but in December 2009, the French Army Procurement Agency ordered 53 of the upgraded Vikings for their own forces. As of February 2019, BAE Systems had delivered the first four Vikings to the Austrian Armed Forces. This follows their Army's order of 32 armored personnel carrier variants of the Viking. There are four main variants when it comes to the Viking. These are the Troop Carrying Variant, or TCV, with one crew plus 11 Marines. The Command Variant, or CV, carries two crew plus eight passengers. The rear cab on this one also has an enhanced digital communication center. Then there's the Repair and Recovery Variant, or RRV, with four specialist maintenance vehicle mechanics. For this version, the rear mounts a high ab crane, a full mobile workshop, an air compressor, and a nine-tone capacity capstan winch, together with hydraulic anchors. Then finally, there's the ambulance variant, which was trialed during operations in Afghanistan. What are your thoughts on the Viking? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.